Hey, what's up guys? So I've heard a lot of you guys complain about the Shadals and you want to know how the heck do you side deck against them? Well, i got a video for you right now. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. There's a tons of cards that we need to talk about. So the first card I'm going to talk about is Neospatian Grandmal. And I feel like this is a good enough card just to main deck in anything. Simply because it really wrecks the Yangzing Dragons as well. And being able to bounce back all the Synchros, all the XYZs, and also being able to return this card back to your hand is just super key. Plus it'll force out things like Breakthrough Skill and sometimes that they can't even attack over it uh, next turn because you're just going to bounce it back anyway. So it has double utility, or they're going to have to burn the breakthrough skill twice, which is still technically good uh, for you because uh, it's two for one. I know breakthrough skill is technically one card, but it's using both mechanics just for one card. And uh, this card just a wrecks the Shadals because uh, not only are you able to uh, wreck the ability for them to uh, you know be able to get those free Shadal fusions over and over, but this allows you to also bounce back the face down things, which can allow you to try to finish off the game because Falco is always a thing and he always brings back Beast and then Beast gets its effect and it just becomes problematic and I understand if you're playing a uh, deck that's not nearly as fast or, or TK oriented it just happens to be a problem sometimes. Uh, next up this card is a just instant win if you can pull it off. It's called the Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spill. Very old card, but anyways, it's a counter trap card that says what you could discard one spell card, negate the activation and the effect of a spell card, and destroy it. Your opponent cannot activate spell cards with that name during the rest of this duel. So that means you activate it against Shadal Fusion, and your opponent can't activate any more Shadal Fusions. Now, what's kind of good with this card is even after they've already brought out their monster, uh, sure, they might be able to add Shadal Fusion back, but once they activate it that next turn, activate this, and then you don't have to deal with any more Shadal Fusions. There are other ways that Shadals can fusion, but for the most part right now, no one is really playing that other quick play because it's not as plus as just the regular Shadal Fusion. Uh, next up, we have... Um, Compulse is just a fantastic card. I think most players are main decking this anyways, but it's a fantastic card nonetheless because bouncing back, you know, the face down monsters and also any of the fusions. Because again, uh, a real key thing to do against that deck is not letting them recycle the Shadal fusions because the longer that that deck has to uh, go on, I think most decks usually will uh, lose advantage simply because they're going to just keep on bringing out boss monsters and they're going to be able to bring them out again and again because once their monsters hit the graveyard, they're able to add back Shadal fusion. Uh, Castiel, the uh, uh, Sky Blaster Mustard here is much better. Uh, I made a video about this card a while ago and it said that uh, he was kind of like a budget version of 101, but in some circumstances he's better than 101. And with 101, a lot of times what happens is they will just make 101, they will absorb your Shadal, and then um, once they detach, like, let's say you're able to get over the 101, what happens is they're just going to be able to get that recycle ability, which sometimes they never really get because you're just going to finish off the game um, with 101 or you're going to make a huge play with it. But uh, Castiel actually makes it goes back into the deck, so that's pretty good for uh, the ability for them, again, not to being able to add the Shadal Fusion. Um, and, uh, oh, I don't know why this is here. Um, oh, back to success probability zero. A lot of players are stocking up on these, and I think this is a pretty good card. So, its effect is to send two random fusion monsters from your opponent's extract to the graveyard. Now, it is technically random. I mean, if you hit double, uh, Midrash or Winda, um, that's why I want to bring this up. Yeah, that can definitely hurt them a lot because uh, then they're going to be forced to make Nephilim and maybe they don't really care about Nephilim that much. Midrash can hurt, uh, like a deck like Medulce, they can't really do much when Midrash is out unless they're stopping Midrash's effect. So if they're able to success probably zero, let's say they do it twice. Most players are playing two Winda and two of the Nephilim. Uh, or the, what is it, Shadal Construct now. Uh, they're usually just playing 2-2, so if you activate double of these, that means you don't really have to deal with Shadal Fusion anyways, um, and this card is not really like a, technically a minus one that also has to be a spell. I feel like this card is just overall better, I mean, they basically do the same thing, um, in one sense where it just stops your opponent from actually bringing out things, but with success probably zero, you're gonna have to rely on, uh, two of them. I feel like one just isn't necessarily enough, and it doesn't say up to two, so I'm wondering if they only have one, can you not, like, activate another one of these? But, nonetheless, it's an okay card. Um, I think that if you use double of these, it's really good, like I mentioned. But later on, once the Shadals get the fire and they get the uh, earth one, I don't know how viable this card is honestly going to be. Because what if you hit, like, the earth ones? And a lot of times, there's many games where they don't even bother making the fire or earth ones. And it's usually the Nephilim and the Midrash that get pulled out. Or, I'm sorry, Winda and Construct, because they changed their names. But it's usually those two that they bring out, so if you're able to hit those, that's pretty good for them. There is a card that can tactically recycle uh, any Shadal, so maybe they'll actually start adding back the um, fusions instead of adding back cards like Dragon and Beast. 
Uh, Macrocosmos is obviously pretty good, but I understand most decks cannot main deck this. Most decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! require the Graveyard, but D. Fisher, Macrocosmos, those do rack them. Um, anything that just banishes in general, so they can't, again, going back to the same idea, they can't recycle the Shadal Fusion. But the problem that I have with D. Prison is, if I'm busting out a Midrash, usually I will try to blow up as much back row as possible. Uh, or if I'm going for my uh, Construct, I'll just be sending the... Um, uh, dragon to the graveyard, dragon will then pop a back row. So I just don't really like cards that are a little bit slower uh, that you have to like wait for. With uh, Compulse, you know, if I'm going to bring out my fusion and then um, you compulse me after, you know, I, I'm targeting and I'm going to blow it up, you can chain it anyways. So uh, I feel like uh, D Prison is just too slow of a card, but if you're able to activate it, it is actually technically pretty good against them. Um, oh, yeah, dragon pops back row, that's why. That was just kind of a side note. Um, this card of Palma over here, is it, is it Cthulian Polymer? Cthulhu? Anyways, um, this is a trap card that says you can only activate this card when your opponent fusion summons a fusion monster. Tribute one monster on your side of the field to take control of that fusion monster. Um, there are a lot of times, sometimes, where they will just actually uh, get that uh, dragon to the graveyard, so you won't be able to really utilize these cards. It almost reminds me of like a creature swap in a trap form, although this one allows you to basically get the powerful monster. Uh, Shadals, sometimes it will leave their field with just the uh, Shadal, sometimes they'll leave it with a Shadal and then a set card, in which case they will probably be giving you that set card. Um, but uh, obviously, uh, they have like the same utility, I would say. Uh, creature swap, I really like it against a Noble Knights though, because if I have have, um, you know, a Noble Knight with five equips, you can't even really play if I've stolen it. And I also like Creature Swap against Bujins, so it's more of a utility uh, side deck card. Sometimes I side it against Light Swarm when they go Dragon Dragon blow up the field. It's nice to have an easy rebuttal next turn with just a quick like Creature Swap. Um, some people like Noble Hunter Cross out. I think this card is awful against them unless you get really lucky and you're able to hit Hedgehog turn one. Um, I really feel like this card is just, it's not so great at all because, um, the Shadals don't really need those flip effects. I mean, they definitely help get the deck going, but once the deck is able to bring out a fusion uh, and recycle it, they really don't care about setting their cards too much. Um, I mean, I know Dragon is pretty good. I know that the Lizard's pretty good, but for the most part, uh, Falco is also pretty I mean, most of them are pretty good, but they don't need them for the deck to function. It doesn't shut down the deck completely, so that's my uh, thoughts on that. Uh, there's also a non-fusion error where neither player can fusion summon, but it's going to go back to the same idea that at any point someone can just go and discard Beast or get rid of Beast, or not Beast, uh, Dragon and just pop the card anyways, and obviously it has to be face up. It's not like a surprise. Some people were talking about Consecrated Light. I mean, I could just set the Shadals, so this card is, I think it's awful. Also, you can still make things like the, um, the Construct. Shadow and Prism Mirror is not a great card against them because of Construct, because I can still loop my stuff. I'm not going to go Construct. You kill Construct, okay, I'm going to activate uh, Construct Strike, add back Shadal Fusion, activate Shadal Fusion, and then I'm going to be able to take victory from there. Another key thing, just as a playstyle against them, is try not to bring out anything from the extra deck unless you know that um, either you f you're you forced to, basically, because you're going to lose the game if you don't. But a lot of times, if you can bring out cards that are like relatively high in attack that are not from the extra deck, so they can't get as many pluses off the Shadal Fusion, that's really good. For example, cards like Tragodia, cards like Cephalon, uh, cards that are relatively strong that, again, are not from the extra deck because they won't be able to go Shadal Fusion and send cards from the deck. Um, because Shadal's is a deck where uh, top decking uh, can be a bad thing uh, if you happen to have uh, nothing from the extra deck face up. But if you have something from the extra deck, they're usually going to have Shadal Fusion. Most play three anyways. So, uh, and they usually have one because they already recycled it. But if you don't have any from the extra deck, it's really good against the deck. And that's why I feel like Neon, Neon Space and Grammel is the hands down best card against them because it has so much utility just to bounce back things. And then uh, you're good to go because uh, you're going to have this card back in your hand. And if they have to go more minus to be able to go for that Shadal Fusion, uh, once again, you can just Grammel it back because it just returns back to your hand. So, uh, that's a really good card for it, but if I missed out on any other good cards, guys, hey, let me know in the comment section below because uh, Shadals are going to be a very strong deck, I would say, for the meta. And for the most part, um, a lot of players have been complaining, so I try to deliver for you guys. But um, again, going back to some of these cards, um, it depends what we also get for more Shadal support in the future because they are technically still supporting Shadals. We don't have the Wind one, which is actually interesting, uh, just kind of a random uh, tangent. The uh, the Winda is not actually Wind, although it should kind of be because its, its name is Winda and I think it's a Gusto, and most of the Gustos are Wind. So we're still waiting for the Shadal Wind one, and we're still waiting for the Shadal uh, Water one. So uh, that can definitely change up how we play the game because what if they are extra good, like they're even better than what we already have now. But like I said, guys, if I felt if you felt like I missed out on any cards, it would be good to side deck against Shadals. Uh, I was thinking more so cards that can be side decked against other things too. Going back to the same idea, I was like, Grand Roll is just fantastic against the 
the Gangzing Dragons also because uh, if you're able to, like I said, special summon and the normal Grandmal, you can just keep on attacking that uh, face down that they're going to set every single turn and you can just bounce it back and then you can get your damage in and they're going to have a very bad time. But hope this helps you guys battle them Shadals because that is a very strong deck. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Asian Eyes out.